Are the new Sharpie Creative markers worth it? We're gonna answer the question in this video today. In 2024, this year, Sharpie came out with some new markers. They were the creative markers. They've had paint markers in the past, but this year they came out with some acrylic markers in brush and bullet tips. And we're gonna test those out today. We're gonna swatch them, we're gonna name them, and we're gonna see if they're worth it. And we're gonna compare them to the old markers that they had before the other paint markers. I'll leave the links here below so that way you guys can get them and follow along if you want. I did the swatches here before I knew the names of the markers. So we're gonna pretend like if you were just picking them up what they would be. And then I'm gonna let you know at the end what the colors were actually named. Here are the new Sharpie Creative Markers. We have brush here, and then we have the bullet tip here. So there's two different types. We're gonna open them up. I notice they all have the AP symbol on them, which is great. I'm not seeing any names, but maybe they're hiding under their crossing fingers, because if not, that's a mark against them already. So it's always like nerve wracking for me to open this up because I like to keep the original packaging and these won't be in the original packaging. Okay. Okay. We're going to dump these out. We'll get both of them out. We're going to swatch them all. First thing I'm noticing is interesting is the caps are the one ones with the name. I'm mean, not the name with the color on them. So that's kind of and then also oh you can see it inside of there. So that's what it looks like inside of the marker. It's very interesting. There's nothing to pump it. Um, let's see. Um, are we seeing any sort of indication of a name? It says store horizontally for best results, shake before use. Okay, so they want us to shake these all. So we're not seeing any sort of names. That's one thing that's already not great about these. Uh, so if you store them, you're probably gonna store them horizontally. And I, sh I actually bought the crafters companion storage already for these and we'll put them away at the end of the video and you guys can see how to store them. So it is nice that they're, you see the color right here. If you look at this, how many are in there, you know, there's not that many colors, so that, not that many to confuse. But once you start getting like a hundred or six, they have like what, 60, 70 of the other ones, it makes it a little harder. Very disappointing, Sharpie. Is that surprising? No, not really. That they don't have the names on them. Oh gosh, yeah, I just ruined that. Okay, let's see. Oh, this one's a little bit harder to get off the side. It comes up to the side a little bit more. Oh, that one came off right there. That came off really good. Okay. So dump these all out. These are, I'll show you, these ones are much thicker, the bullet ones. That indicates to me that there's probably more ink in the bullet ones, and I feel like these ones were more expensive. I'll have to double check that. That could be a clear indication. I think all the colors are similar, but we'll double check that. So these are the bullet tip. One thing I'm noticing that's different is they're like twice as big, which is interesting because usually like, brush is like the more common as opposed to bullet so why are these like so much bigger um it, oh it's a different tip entirely so that's that's a pretty big bullet tip sharpie does have paint markers and i did a review of those uh okay so on the bottom is where you see this store horizontally <coughs> no indication of color and it's, it's a different design so We'll see what these look like. We'll do like the brush and the bullet on one side. So I think we're gonna start with black paper because we always start with the other colors. I'm gonna move these this way. 
I will say I was a little disappointed in the other paint markers, so hopefully these ones will not be disappointing. So we're gonna actually use the white to write, should we just call them brush? Creative markers, is that what they are? Okay, so we're gonna write brush right here. This white is already better than their other white, so that's very promising. Uh, very not disappointed in these ones. The other white was so hard to get out. Okay, so that is super nice. Already came out a, a lot better, so that's promising. Um, should we make up names for these? Is that what we should do? You know, I think I'm just gonna make up names for these colors. Call them like they are. Usually, I mean, it's pretty simple. So we're gonna, cause I need to be able to brush with them. So, okay, and when you do shake them, you're supposed to shake them with the lid, probably. You can hear a little bit of a shaker in there. This one does not tell us to shake, so that's different. Okay, so this one is the red. We'll do a little circle. Oh my gosh, these are much better. I am already surprised by how much better these are than their predecessors. So they have water-based ones. And I feel like these uh, will replace those. So we got a red here. And then we have an orange. Or a N. So you do notice when it's a little bit lighter, it's, it's not as strong of a color. can shake them, probably good to do. Yellow, these are very bright, vibrant. I will show you um, at the end kind of the colors, how they compare to the other ones. And I will say these are a night and day difference. So somehow they improve these. I wanna call this like a light green cause I don't really feel like it's a dark green at all. So we'll just call this light green. That was not a very good L. I'm totally making these names up. That's what you have to do. You have colors like this. All right, so now we get to name some of these other colors. So I think we have like a light blue and a turquoise. Let's actually open them up a little bit so we can kind of see. Yeah. So I don't really know how to spell turquoise, so. Uh, oh. What should we call this one? Let's look at these two comparatively so we can, uh, oh, wow. Huh. I feel like that one should have been, oh my gosh, I got paint everywhere. Okay. What should we call this one? I'm cheating. I'm pulling out the Poscas. This one's emerald green. Kind of, mm, I don't know. Okay, don't tell anyone. I'm pulling out the Poscas. Okay, metallic green, aqua green. I was going to say this one looked like aqua green. So I'm going to call that one aqua green. It's the lighter one. Okay, 
This other one, should I call it turquoise? Like, I really don't know. Okay, don't make fun of me because I don't know how to spell. Or this one is emerald green. Tur. Q. Q. Tur. I think it's O I S E. If it's not, I'm sure you guys will let me know. Okay, that one's that one's pretty. These are pretty. I think this next one is blue for sure. Oh yeah, that's a pretty blue. It's very hard to get some of these dark colors opaque. Okay, next one is purple. We know that one's purple. Good. Okay, and the next one's gonna be pink. Now the next ones, I don't know if they're gonna show up as well. This one's gray, this one's black. There's no brown, it appears. Okay, black, appear I'm expecting it, yeah, to kinda of not show up. It does on the paper. It might fade though. Okay, and then we're gonna do the white. Yeah, see how it's kind of fading? That's probably just like the ink that we can see right now, but it's gonna fade. Okay, yeah, so that black is fading. But we, these are all of these. All the colors, and I am pleasantly surprised. Very, very surprised. We'll do our next paper with uh, these ones and see if they're any different. I imagine they'll be similar. I mean, we actually, you know what? Since they're a bullet tip, and they're not brushed, we can probably just do it here. I'm gonna actually try to do it on the same one, even though I made these super big. We will say bullet here. Okay, I am thinking <clears throat> the bullet is <clears throat> very interesting. It seems like it's a little bit weaker to me. We'll see if I like these as good as I liked the other ones. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our red. Do a circle, cause that's nice. We'll try to keep it on the same line so we can compare. Okay, Um, is this one fading more? interesting that these were kind of like the more expensive ones and let's see the other ones uh yeah it's not a very strong bullet tip i would say seems to rub the paper pretty heavy too I honestly don't know. That's a really big one. Light green. Why they made these ones so much bigger. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. That one just... That one is... Ah. Uh, do you see, hear how, like, they're just, like... Can you see that on there? How it's just, yeah. Okay, not my favorite. Okay, and then we go to turquoise. Oh, I see. 
Yeah, I think there was a U. You guys will tell me that probably. I'm missing a U. I am not. I am not a. I didn't. I do not spell good. I have lived too long with a computer. In my life. That always corrects me whenever I say something wrong. I know the words. Do I know how to spell them? No. Is that why I'm not a teacher? Yeah, I didn't even know what like the different sound letters, like long A, short A, are. Like, I don't even know if I could tell you. I know, because I did it, I did some things pink is next with my kids. So I know like A, A, U, uh, but which one is A, uh, A, A, I think it's a long one, right? And A, uh, there's A, uh, A, U, uh, so are like both of those the short ones? I don't know. I, and do you guys remember diagramming sentences? That was insane. Anyway, so yeah, the pink is showing up okay. Not loving these, like I said, as much. Okay, so now you can see the black is totally faded and dried. That's what I was re really kind of expecting it to do. And we're going to do these on white paper next. And we'll do tests like coloring over each other. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the markers are okay, these ones. But you, here's all the difference. You can just see, I just feel like these ones are a little bit brighter. Um, maybe because you can shake them? I'm not sure. So we don't need the other paper because we're able to do it up here. We're going to pull out our book. For, um, well, I guess whatever. I just, this is, yeah, I can take this any, out anyway and put it in my swatch pages. Okay, so, ooh, should we try to do two pages or one page? I'm not sure. But this time we'll write in black, so we'll write, yeah, let's just do one page. It's, um... A smaller page. It's a very good black. I'm definitely loving these and I wish they were the bigger marker with more ink. So we'll do the same and it's a lot easier get good coverage on here than it is on here. Like opacity um, is hard. That's what it looks like on, um, sorry, on that kind of paper. Okay, if I knew how to. I'm loving how these are going. And this was what, light green? Yeah. And we can fix that with the white. I'll show you in just a minute when it dries. What was this one? aqua green hey you can see the color a lot more and then 
then turquoise was next. Which I am surprised. Why don't you just put in like an, a brown? Because, I mean, I guess you can make brown with some of these. I will fill that in with white. So this is what I'm talking about. Is you can come in here like that. I mean, it's not perfect. You can kind of see still a little green underneath, but. Should we call it violet? I guess I called it purple over there. So we'll just keep the same naming conventions. really good black and then we'll do white but probably won't show up yeah you could do like black and then see how it does on it okay so now we're gonna go on to the bullets Again, like, they're just not very strong. Just disappointing. They do do better on the white paper than they did on the black paper. But they don't, they're kind of like too big to like actually write with. Like you could color with these. Okay, next is aqua green. This one was the one that acted weird on the other page too. Okay. Okay, and then let's come down here and like draw, actually let's just draw a square for this one. Let it dry, okay. And we can see what it looks like. I should have done that a while ago. Okay, and then we'll see what it looks like over the top of it. It just takes a few minutes to dry, like a minute or two. 
we'll look at this while we're waiting. So they they look like they did pretty good, a lot better than the uh, black paper, but that's to be expected, the opacity. I think these ones are really good. They really surprised me. They feel like they're a lot better than their other markers. I love the brush. So if I was gonna buy one of these, I'd probably not waste my money on the bullets. I would definitely buy, they come in the same colors. I mean, I feel like you can probably write a lot easier with these ones than you can the other ones. Like, let's see. I don't think they bleed through very well. So if you wanted to write thin, I think that's actually easier to do with these. You could just say, see, look at how easy that is. You, you just use a light pressure. But if you come over here, maybe black wasn't the best for a nod bleed through, but. Can you see how it's just like that little bit bigger right there? Like, I feel like you can do everything you can. I don't know, chisel would have probably been a better choice. Okay, so it looks like it's already dry. See how good these are. It should be just like the black paper. Um, maybe not quite as white, but this is also the, the bullet, which was not as great either, but um, sometimes I notice this with the Posca markers. If you're coloring on something that's, yeah, you get a little bit of black on here. So it's like not a hundred percent dry. So you'd have to like wait overnight to really get it dry. So that me might be why it's still kind of a little bit like that. I was pretty close with the color names. I found these color names on Blick. They must have gotten a list from Sharpie. That's what will happen sometimes is that Sharpie will have some info and they'll send it off to the stores so they can put it on their website. And luckily that's how we find a lot of these names. Otherwise we'd be at a total loss because they don't put it on their packaging. So I got most of them right. Mostly it was off on the greens because there were a lot of them, which was kind of surprising. I wish there was a brown, like I said before, and maybe one less green. We have red, orange, yellow, which we got right. It was green instead of light green, light teal instead of aqua green, and it was dark teal instead of turquoise, which was pretty close. And then we have blue, purple, black, and white, pink and gray. And it's interesting to know that the gray is spelled E-Y, not A-Y. So I kind of got a little wrong because I spelled it A-Y, but those are all the names for the markers. So if you're going through these and you want to name them properly according to what they named them and not my names, you'll use those names instead. Here's the comparison of the water base, which I think is what these are like, next to these new colors from Sharpie to see if they even used similar ideas. It looks like they kind of, let's look at the what it was like on the black. So I can immediately tell these look more like the medium oil, except for I had to go on this a few layers. Like this is a lot of layers. This is just one layer. So they definitely didn't go out on this well, but you can see how the sparkly ones went on a lot better. I feel like they mimicked that for this. So whatever they put in these markers, they use that opacity for here. Cause these ones are just so much better than these ones. Like I think I went over this like 10 times and I'm surprised that one actually came out as great, good as it did right there, but they were like not great. But these ones were a lot better as far as opacity, um, just the colors are a lot better. So if I was gonna invest in Sharpie paint markers right now, especially like I would probably not even bother with the water-based Sharpie markers, unless you wanted some of these like glittery type markers, that's when I would get those. But other than that, yeah, I feel like these are probably a better bang for your buck than these ones are. Okay, here's a comparison of the Sharpie paint markers that's not on the black. So definitely on the black, if you want, if you're gonna use black, I would definitely recommend these ones because they just so, show up so much better. On this other one, I feel like the color selection might be a little bit more over here you like get your silver and your gold and you get a brown but the thing is it takes forever to find all these like these are impossible to get in like one package i had to like it go through like five or six times of shopping and stores and shipping and all this other crazy stuff just to get even get all these colors so they're hard to come by and 
like you have to buy lots of extra colors to get it whereas this is like I think 15 20 dollars and then this is like even like I think it was like 70 to 100 I can't remember how much but it was just so much more money and like they're not in brush they're fine medium I feel like the tips were better on these but these were just so much easier to find the colors are very similar there wasn't actually a purple that pink is like the magenta there's like a purple here but you have to get it in the medium but you you don't have silver and gold so if you want silver and gold you know maybe get them in the oil or the water base but the water base does not have as many colors so if you these are acrylic based also so if you're looking for that kind of marker go for these ones instead so i would say definitely these are probably the way to go as far as sharpie markers if you really want that good bullet tip you can do the oil paint markers if you're doing a lot of bullet tip work because these ones are not great bullet tips we're going to put these away and you guys will see how to store these horizontally and these are like my favorite shelves to use i have them for like all my loose sharpies and it's nice because i can just pull them out i keep my posca markers in them my copic ones anything that's loose i keep in the crafters companion are these markers worth it i think they're they're nice i would honestly probably get the brush i would love the brush i'd love them to be more colors i would love them to be named i feel like they kind of missed the point with the bullet the bullet it was pretty um i don't really want to get my fingers all dirty but it was like i let me show you you see how much that bends it's just not a very sturdy tip so let's look at these ones for example I don't know if this is comparable in size, but if you see this Posca tip, do you see how much that flexes? It doesn't flex. That's the thing. There's no flex in the Posca marker. And I feel like these are probably meant to be, it doesn't, does it specify the size of the bullet tip on here? Let's see. No bleed through on paper. Horizontally. Hmm. No prepping or priming needed. Colors layer without blending. Bold these marks on paper, metal, wood, ceramic, glass, rock, and canvas. So that's awesome. You can put them on all those things. But the bullet, it doesn't say the size, but it seems like these are kind of similar like markers. And this one doesn't bend. So I think they were kind of going for the Posca kind of marker on this one. And they missed the mark. Uh -huh, with the bullet on this one because it's just way too flexible to like really do a lot of stuff with like these ones are just super firm and it's easy to use like this one is just like I can't like when I'm writing I just kind of feel like it's I can't control it as well as I can control these ones the breaking point for me on the bullet tip was that the bullet tip was so flexible and we compared it with the Posca markers which are the gold standard for any type of bullet markers and they were just like 10 times better the Posca ones were so I would not buy the sharpie bullet tips but I would buy the sharpie brush tips there is one thing that we didn't test in this video because it takes time how long are these markers going to last this is something that it can update you over time because I can't tell what they're going to be like in a year but in a year I can do like a little video and be like hey this is how long the markers lasted what do you think? Do you think these markers are worth it? Which ones would you get? I'll leave the links below and you can get the markers and let me know which ones you decide to get if you get decide to get any. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.